Hey guys, welcome back to Random Distractions where we're playing Tell Me Why. And um, in this video, uh, we, well actually in the last video, we decided to let somebody come and take a look at the house. Um, and go ahead and take a look at it because uh, they're offering cash for it. So, not sure if that was the best decision or not, but we're going to go tell Tyler here. And let's take a look here. What else they got here? Bear encounters are frequent during Salmon Run, May through October. Exercise extreme caution along the rivers, local trails, viewpoints, and glacier roads. During autumn, bears move to higher elevations to feed on berries and den for the winter. Do not feed the bears. Keep all foods. Uh, so it's just about bears. Okay. On Betty Vermeer. So you're looking to win out here, Tom. The bears? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's kind of far out. He and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. <laughs> kind of rings a bell. Dorian Key. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? Oh, yeah, that's really cool. I feel like I've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just... hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town... these people... they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on, but that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Oh, it's like there's a memory. Keeping us all called day. I like this view. Eddie warned me about this. Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. It's pretty crazy Tina found someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> You guess? That's it? I don't really want to talk about the house right now. Oh, okay. We don't have to. Yep, he's not happy about the house sale, is he?
Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Move on. So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. He tries to protect me from everything. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school. So he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And they all have to show up because you're the chief's daughter? Bingo. But then they didn't actually talk to me, so I felt like a stranger in my own house. I know the feeling. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah. It was a week before they got the roads reopened, and Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. It felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. Marianne was anxious about rocks falling on the road. She always assumed the worst would happen. Funny how that turned out, huh? In a few weeks, you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall. With an ice pick. Uh, I know it's not the best trait for a park ranger, but I'm super freaked out about rock climbing. <laughs> no way. You've never been afraid of heights. Except when I'm dangling from a tiny metal hoop off the side of a mountain, hundreds of feet off the ground. I'd love to be able to make something like this. Come on, you're a great artist too. I'm nowhere near this level. You need to stop selling yourself short. Hey, look what I found. Tree. Oh, Ollie and Allison. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then. <clears throat> but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right, way better. Mm. Tyler and Allison, all right. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Okay, calmly. Let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. 
I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Hmm. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Is it JCE? JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were gonna be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. You yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a back home. Hmm. How is Linda? Later. I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. <laughs> well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, Tyler Rowan. You said your daughter was Good to see you again. Incident. Yes, she gotten was. Tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, hello. Isabella Henderson, Welcome home. July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Thanks. Last name? It's been a while. Yes, so, what brings you two around? My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has. We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, because boy. <sighs> what do you do now? She stays Suspects with wanted for a felony. Oh, <laughs> Don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? No. Oh, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. Mm -mm. That's why he's upset. I'm hmm. sorry, I forgot right. your birthday. I got Incident so wrapped up with Tyler coming that it totally slipped my mind. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched uh, to Chief home Brown's at taking a statement, but you might be able to snag him when What's he's done. Stay to give a statement. Okay. I had to be in surgery at nine. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital. That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, shall we? Shall. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? 
What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn, stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Let's see. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. <laughs> so I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. <laughs> go through the full details of your morning with me. Dr. Torres? Of course. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Uh, thanks for joining me for another random distractions. Oh, I guess I can't go up there. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, I was, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Uh, thanks for joining me. and definitely would appreciate a like on the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll know when the next one drops. Uh, but until then, I hope you have a good one.